Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel on Local Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 25 Area of Rectilinear Figures, Exercise 25A Question 3. So this is complete and uh, copy and complete the following table for rectangles. Now we have to do these tables for rectangles, and you can see we have length, breadth, area, perimeter. Four uh, rows that are uh, four columns given to us: length, breadth, area, perimeter. And you can see we have four rows that means four different rectangles okay first we have a rectangle of length 4.4 centimeters breadth is not given area that is 77 square centimeters is given and perimeter also we have to calculate now it is given different things are given for different rectangles and different things are not given so we have to calculate them step by step then only we can proceed see the first rectangle we have there's the case for this first rectangle length breadth area perimeter we only know length and we know area so we know that area of rectangle right is equal to what uh, length into breadth right so this way you can write this and you can see area of the rectangle is length into breadth so in place of area i can get 77 then length into breadth so length is 4.4 and breadth i will take as b because i don't know breadth. so we will get what 77 upon 4.4 is equal to the breadth cancel add one zero four seven zero seventy right then again I will cancel 70 and 4, 2 and 35. 35 by 2 that is your 17.5 is equal to breadth. So one side you can see it is 17.5 centimeters right. I should write here centimeters as well. So 17.5 centimeters is equal to my breadth. We need to find perimeter also. So breadth here first of all you can write 17.5 centimeters. Perimeter so simple perimeter is 2 into l plus b so 2 into what 70 sorry 4.4 plus 17.5 that is 2 into 9 and point here 21.9 so 18 1 3 4 43.8 square cent uh, sorry not square 43.8 centimeters that becomes the perimeter now let's move on to the next part and also you can write this thing over here 43.8 centimeters now let's move on to the next part next you can see over here we have to calculate the second rectangle that that is there with a length of 29 millimeters mm means millimeters 29 millimeters what does that mean so see Perimeter is given and length is given. So, perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus B. This is for the rectangle and we all know the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into L plus B. Now, uh, we, out of these three things, we know what, what? We know perimeter, we know length, but we don't know breadth. So, we will calculate the breadth first. Then only we can calculate the area because if you remember, area is what? length into breadth we need the two things for that so perimeter becomes 104 millimeters is equal to 2 into 29 plus b so 104 is equal to 2 into 29 8 1 58 plus 2 b so 104 minus 58 is equal to 2 b okay see for 4 and 8, 14 minus 8 becomes what? 6, right? 9 minus 5 becomes 4. 46 is equal to 2B, therefore B, that is my breadth is equal to 46 by 2, that is 23 centimeters. So breadth we have, sorry, uh, not centimeters, 23 millimeters. Keep track of this unit, 29 millimeters. Uh, 23 millimeters, now area area is equal to what length into breadth so put that length is 29 into breadth is 23 so 
into 23 that is what c let's do the multiplication over here 667 square millimeters so 667 square millimeters becomes the area let's proceed to the next part so the next rectangle we have here in this rectangle both the things are given to us one is length one is breadth length is 1.5 kilometers and breadth is 90 meters so you can see i can convert kilometers to meters 1500 meters 1.5 kilometers means 1500 meters so i want same unit that's what i'm doing and now you can see we have to calculate two things area and perimeter so we'll begin with perimeter first perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth so we'll have what 2 into length and breadth 1500 plus 90 so 2 into 1590 that's my 0 here 8 1 here 11 and 1 3180 what meters this is the perimeter so let's put that down 3180 meters and now you can see area is a bit different we have to calculate the area in hectares so the unit given to us is hectares see yourself area is length into breadth right we are doing rectangle so only these two formulas 2 into l plus b and l into b so two things are required length into breadth that's my 1.5 that is 1500 remember we will take same units not different ones so 90 and 1500 1500 into 90 that is what 59 is a 135 three zeros like that and this is in square meters now area in hectares also ha means hectares only so we will have one three five triple zero divided by remember in the previous question we learned one hectare is equal to ten thousand well, how much square meter remember this formula relation this relation so put that down here divide this by ten thousand so four zeros here three zeros here cancel them three three we have cancelled one zero remains so put the decimal point here see we have 135 upon 10 that will become 13.5 and one, one zero was there so we have moved the decimal place one place to the left and put the unit hectares so here we will write 13.5 hectares is already there now let's move on to the next part now last part of this is length is given for 40 meters so we have the fourth rectangle where length is 40 meters and breadth we don't know right and area we know one air right this is also unit for measuring area just like hectares but this we cannot take because we have length in meters so we need to find some relation so you will see one air is equal to 100 square meters right 10 um, de 10 decameters squared so that is 100 uh, square meters right so basically square of the decameter that is 100 square meters now one air is equal to 100 square meters now you can see we have to put this thing like this area is equal to length into breadth area in place of one we cannot use air so that's why i have written 100 square meters so 100 is equal to length is 40 into breadth we do again don't know so 100 upon 40 is equal to my breadth cancel 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 5 and 2 so breadth is equal to how much 2.5 what meters this is the breadth here you can write 2.5 meters what else we need is the perimeter so uh, see perimeter is equal to same formula i won't write once more so you can add the sides 2.5 plus we have your 100 uh, sorry 40 right so we have 
2 into 42.5 that's my how much say 0 1 5 8 and 1 85 uh, meters that is your what perimeter so here you can write 85 meters that's your answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye